Hey, this is Selena, and this is book number 42 on my 100 book goal. It is called What's His Face by Gordon Corman, and I picked this one up at TLA. So this book, unlike Gordon Corman's normal books, is not necessarily realistic fiction. It is a, um, I guess, a magical fiction is, uh, a, I guess, how I would classify it. So um, this young boy moves to a new town. He constantly moves because his parents are um, in the military. And so he's moving around back and forth and he gets to a new town. And as a consolation prize, his parents buy him a super expensive phone, he and his sister. So his sister's phone works just fine. But um, for him, his book is, or his phone seems to be glitchy and buggy. Um, and the Cooper who is the young boy, um, figures out that his phone is haunted and there is a ghost who lives in his phone. So part of this new life that Cooper is in um, in school, he always has a little trouble adjusting to a new school and making friends. So people tend to call him What's-His-Face because they can't remember his name. So What's-His-Face, Cooper, throughout the book, um, has this ghost in his phone. And the town has a very rich... Um, benefactor who is obsessed with Shakespeare. So all of their plays and everything that they do in their school um, by dictate of getting money from this benefactor has to do with Shakespeare. And Cooper tries out for the play and has a minor role, but the ghost that lives in his phone happens to be um, a character from the 1500s who, come to find out, um, was maybe the original playwright of some of Shakespeare's materials. And so it's um, interesting because you have the, the idea of this kid from the 1500s who doesn't know our world now being exposed to our world and Cooper who has this inside track of what the actual 1500s was like and what it sounded like and he has him talking in his ear throughout the whole story. So it was a cute story in that I liked the, the back and forth and um, you know the idea of him interacting with this ghost that's in this piece of technology. So it was cute. Um, of course, they go kind of on a mission to prove some things and to solve some things. There's uh, a girl who, of course, Cooper's trying to get a girl to like him, who, of course, plays Juliet. So it was a good one. I expect that we will see this one in, um, in our libraries uh, because Gordon Corman always writes well and delivers. So this one, I would give it um, three and a half stars out of five. So What's His Face by Gordon Corman, definitely worth your read. And I feel like it's a cute book that the kids will enjoy.